Good morning. We are buttoning everything up and getting ready to head to Mobile, Alabama. We've been here for three weeks and we're gonna miss our friends terribly. But now we're gonna hook up. Do the tug test. Don't forget your tug test. It's very important that one day you don't do it like we did and we had a minor disaster. Is this your favorite thing to do? Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I don't mind it because it means that we're gonna have empty tanks. And we're pretty darn full right now. We're here at the Pilot in Tallahassee, right close to our friend's place. So it's very convenient. It costs $10 to dump, and it's worth every penny. I don't know if any of you have used an RV dump at a truck stop, but a lot of the pilots and loves stations have an RV dump. There's a charge, it's 10 bucks for this one. It's cost of doing business for mooch docking, but you know, it's better than staying 40, 50, 60, $70 a night in an RV park, right? That's right, that's right. But we're pretty full, so it's gonna take us a while to dump. <laughs> and understand, once you put the coat in, you lift up that little Thing. And if something happens and you accidentally close it, it's locked. It won't open again. You'd have to get a new code. Not sure if you'd have to pay another $10, but that wouldn't be good, would it? <laughs> Let's hope we don't have an RV ex movie experience here. So far, so good. Some children, oh, what I love could do. Maybe we live in Vegas or a house with picket fancy. Oh, what I love could do. If I got you, babe, you got me. There ain't Back in Alabama? We are back in Alabama. We were just in Alabama. Why are we back in Alabama? So you could get your Alabama Southern drawl. <laughs> I'll never get that. 
I'm afraid we're back because we want to visit our friends again, Mike and Pam. Yeah, we got special friends in Alabama. We do. Now, we're actually doubling back the way we came over, the way we came east, because we wanted to spend Christmas with our good friends in Tallahassee. That's right. Now we're headed west. And what better spot to stop on our way back than Mike and Pabs again? I know, because after that, where are we going? Oh, yeah, we're going to go to San Antonio and see our other good friends. <laughs> that we've already seen. But we got to pick up the Can-Am in San Antonio. Yeah. So if, we didn't tell you this, but we we couldn't use the Can-Am in Florida, and so we dropped it off in San Antonio, and our friends are babysitting our Can-Am for us. And then as we head back, we're going to swing by and pick up the Can-Am on our way west so that we can go tear up some dirt in the desert. That sounds like fun. I am looking forward to it. I am, too. I'm missing the west. I am missing the west, too. We've been here now, well, we spent three weeks in Tallahassee and uh, kind of overstayed our welcome, but part of that was because of the car. <laughs> they never would admit it. Yeah. But I know that they were glad that we left. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, we got the car back. We're headed back west, and yeah, it's uh, this flatland is kind of. I'm, I'm ready for some mountains. What about yes, you? Yes, mountains and a different time zone. A different, yeah. I'm having. I yeah. have problems in the East Coast time zone. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I just don't sleep well. Um, I don't know what it is. Well, and all of our family is. Well, the majority of our family is in Pacific time, and so yeah. we're calling them. You know, it's too early to call at 8 o'clock or 9 o'clock in the morning because they're all still in bed. So, and then at night, they call us and we're headed to bed. Exactly. Yeah. So, so New Year's was fun, you know. Yeah. <laughs> our son decided to call us at midnight our time. Eastern time. Which is, yeah, I'm sorry, Eastern time. We were already in bed. <laughs> we were. We were. Yeah, no uh, no disrespect to you people from no. the East Coast time zone, but man, it is really hard for us to get used to. Yeah. I suppose if we were there for, you know, a few months or more, we could get used to it. But boy, oh boy, it just is different. It is definitely different. Yeah. Even that one hour from Central, Yeah. which is what our daughter lives in Texas, so she's in the Central time zone. So it was easy to call her because she was just an hour difference, but boy. I know a lot of you watch us to see the scenery as we're driving and you know, I guess I didn't realize there were so many pine trees down in the southeast. Florida along the highway, full of pine trees. Yeah. Now we're in Alabama, full of pine trees. Uh, it's. I mean, we've been here before, and, and I remember it now, but pine trees just, for me, pine trees mean the Pacific Northwest, right. or the Mountain West states. And work. A lot of work when you a have pine, pine trees. A lot of needles. Clean up the pine needles, yeah. Pine cones. And lots and lots of RVs. So many, going the opposite direction. Yeah, well, it's January 2nd, yeah. guys, guys, that we're, we're filming this actually on January the 2nd. And motorhome upon motorhome upon fifth wheel upon fifth wheel and travel trailers, trailers and yeah. oh my gosh, yeah. bus conversions there, ton of them on the road for the winter. For the winter, so apparently most of these people have stayed in the North Country or wherever they were staying for the holidays, and now they're headed for Florida for January and February. That's the only thing I can figure out. But man, there yeah. are a lot of RVs it's, out it's on the road. It's pretty cool to see our, to, to see them go by and yep. how many there are. Yep, there I are a bunch. I don't think we've seen any going our way. Well, we're probably doing about the same speed they are. Oh. <laughs> so we wouldn't be passing them. They don't usually pass us. But yeah. Nobody's crazy enough to go west for the winter, I guess, except us. Yeah, well, that's what we do. That's what we do, that's right. 
But we are on I-10, over or south of I-10. Remember that, guys. Over yes. or south of I-10, and we are on I-10. We're going to try to stay on I-10 or south of it all the way back. We've learned our lesson. Yeah, we have. But it is beautiful country, and we are glad to be visiting. But it's time to head west, and so yeah. off to Mike and Pam's we go and uh, spend a few more days on our way west. Back in Alabama. Yay. We can chase the Mississippi through the night, hundreds of miles away. The water is warm. Let's dip our toes right in and be reborn. I don't know why we wait. Grab some glasses in the atlas. We can prove we're smarter than a phone. Let's go where there's no reception, see if we can make it on our own. Alabama. You got to go there. We love it there. I love it. I love it there. She does. She has decided that is one of her favorite places to visit. It's so pretty and so clean and the people are fantastic. Yeah. So our good friends Mike and Pam, uh, as we're doubling back, we left Tallahassee and we're doubling back to head west. And I called Mike and I said, hey, we're going to come through again. Um, you want to get together? And they said, absolutely. Yay. It, it, but he had an ulterior motive, too. Well, this is true. <laughs> As you know, Jim can sell ice to, to anybody <laughs> in Alaska, <laughs> in the snow, in the deep freeze, because you just that's just your passion is your, you sell things. No, no, no. I'm a geek. Well, yeah, you're selling stuff that you love. <laughs> So you are a geek. <laughs> we have a personal cloud service. Um, we have a personal cloud service, both personal and for the channel. Mm -hmm. So we have two different personal cloud services. And I've talked to a couple of people. Keith in Tallahassee was one of them. And I said, I said, uh, you know, are you backing up your photos? And he goes, uh, no. And I, so we got to talking and he ended up buying one of these personal clouds. And then I was talking to Mike when we were there with Mike and Pam when we went through Mobile the first time, and they have their business, obviously. And he was showing me his backups, and oh my gosh, it was so cumbersome. It was not user-friendly at all. And I said, you know, I said, we've got this personal cloud service that we really enjoy. See? <laughs> and he ended up buying one, and he says, you can help me set up Synology Cloud when you come back through. That's right. <laughs> so... I got to geek out while we were in Mobile, so it was a lot of fun for me. I, I really enjoy that. It's it's kind of, it's a hobby of mine uh, to geek out. You know, the audio-visual thing is a lot of fun, too, but, uh, you know, when it comes to computers, I really enjoy it, and so... And he likes helping people. I do. I do, and, and this is really going to help their business, I think, uh, run it a whole lot smoother. So I got to geek out a little bit and uh, and hook up, help him hook up his his personal cloud service, and I'm sure I'll be getting phone calls as time goes yes. on. Yes, <laughs> and you'll have a smile on your face. So, what are you guys doing this year? What what you, we're obviously traveling. You know, what do you do? Do do you stay up north? Do you come south? Do you stay in one spot? Do you travel? And that's something that that we've talked about this year, as as you're finding out. Last year we were talking about this just the other day. Last year, we spent three months in Yuma yes. and a month in Quartzsite. It was, we have great friends there. Yeah. We love, love them. But as you guys well know, 
we get kind of itchy feet when a couple of weeks come rolling by. And after three <laughs> weeks, especially in Tallahassee after three weeks, it's time to move on. Yeah, unless you have something that you can do all of the time yeah. and you're there for a purpose, yeah. uh, you know, then it's different. But. So this is our style, right? Uh, this is our style. We like to travel. And, and so this year we're traveling along and it allows us to see Keith and Ann in Tallahassee and visit Mike and Pam in, in Mobile and and. and it, you know, we're going to see Fred and Gina again in San Antonio and, and just it's great. And then when we get to Yuma, we've got some more friends that we're going to hang out with. Uh, Jason and Lynn, you know, are some really good friends and, and our good friends, uh, Ricky and Denise are going to stay there as yeah. well this year. So, you it's know, nice we're going to be you able guys. to Yay. hang out with them a little bit. But what do you guys do for the winter? Do you like to sit in one place or do you like to move like we do? Well, obviously we're moving and, yes. and we really <laughs> enjoy it. And one of those things that that we like to do is we like to spend some quality personal time with our friends because that's why we love this lifestyle, you guys. We get to spend quality time. And so we try not to roll the cameras too much while we're visiting with friends. We like to respect their privacy. And, and, and be in the moment, you know, just, yeah. just be with them and, and just not have to worry about picking up a camera and just 100% time with them. Yeah, yeah, and that's... That's why we love this lifestyle. It allows us to be in the moment, as Kelly says, it, whether it's relatives or family or yeah. or friends. You know, we feel the same way about everybody. Um, so anyway, one of the things that we did do while we were there in Mobile, though, is is uh, Mike and Pam asked us if we'd ever been down to the Foley, Alabama area, and no, not really. They said it's a huge retirement community, so they we jumped in the truck and off we went. Yeah, and. <laughs> And so they showed us, uh, what is it, Fairhope? Fairhope Pier. Fairhope Fair Pier. And so we got a chance. Oh, man, it was windy and it was cold. It was so cold. But we got a chance to go out on the pier and there was hardly anybody else there. I right. mean, the locals think it's too cold, obviously, because there was nobody <laughs> around. And there's no other tourists except for us. Yeah. There were just a couple other other folks that were walking their dogs and stuff. But it's a beautiful place, and, and we got to see a container barge out on the horizon as they were coming into Mobile Bay. I tell you, when he he first showed us, I, I thought, that is, it looked like a building in the distance. Yeah. But it was a building that kept moving. I couldn't believe it. It was huge. <laughs> yeah. And then they he, Mike took us around and showed us the, the houses there. You know, they're all built up on stilts for obvious reasons, and... It was just a lot of fun, and, and we've not had an opportunity. I mean, if we had stayed there, we never would have. Right. But it's a really neat community, you know. Again, this time of year, the locals think it's too cold, and the tourists are either in South Florida or South Texas or California or someplace, and gosh, we had the whole place to ourselves. Yeah, we had tons of parking, so yeah. that was a good time to go. Yeah, and Mike took us out to, I forget the name of the point right now. I was looking for it, and I couldn't, I couldn't figure out what it was. But he took us out there and, and showed us around, and we saw a couple of the, the local birds. <laughs> he was so cute. <laughs> and he blended in with the rocks, and so yeah. I didn't even, you know, I'm videoing, and I'm, you know, over a few times in that, in that area, and then all of a sudden he was just there, <laughs> and he was... Very yeah. cold, too. He looked like he was all fluffed up and trying to keep warm, but it was so cool. It was. It was. So, anyway, uh, that's what we're doing is we're headed back west. Uh, once we get done with Mobile, then we're going to make an overnight stop, a one-night stop at a boondock someplace along the way and end, and go over to Fred and Gina's and pick up our Can-Am and, and load it back up before we start heading west. Um, it doesn't look like we're going to be able to make... The Fort Davis area this year, I so know, maybe I'm next year. We're we're already talking to Fred and Gene about that. Maybe next year, yeah. uh, some things came up and and it just doesn't look like it's going to work out. So we're gonna we're gonna head on into Yuma uh, and and see you know some friends and and hang out at Yuma for a few days, and it looks like we're gonna make the majority of the quartzite tent show. For those of you that are wondering, um, yeah, that's that's good because yeah. I didn't think that we were gonna yeah. be. Yeah, and able to. And by the way, I I I've been talking to the guys at Lion Energy, and they're gonna. I, you don't know this yet, but I, we're gonna we're gonna be able to set up uh, some meet and greets at the really? Lion Energy tent show or uh, booth at oh, the at the Quartzsite tent so show. Cool. So we'll give you guys some specifics of where their booth is and Yay. and what days we're gonna be there. But we're gonna 
We're gonna do another. These meet and greets. We really enjoy these meet and greets, guys. They're a lot of fun. I get to see you guys yeah. and, and and just love on you. It's yeah. so cool. Yeah, they're a lot of fun, and we yeah. really enjoy them. And so I was I was talking to Brian over there at Lion Energy, and he and I asked him if you know if maybe we could set something up. He said absolutely. So. Very cool. We're going to set up some meet and greets there at Lion Energy's uh, booth there. So I guess we'll let you know the all the information yeah. once we, we yeah. figure it out. And... Yeah. So we're looking forward to that. Uh, we're looking forward to getting back into the mountains and the hills. Uh, we loved Florida. We loved Alabama. And, you know, Texas is great. But we, we are mountain and hill people. And we kind of need to get out west again. It's time to start yeah. moving along. And, and um, anyway, so... That's our plan, uh, and, and we're enjoying our time. And let us know what you guys are doing for the snowbird season, guys, because we, I, I know we've been kind of watching the weather, and you guys are supposed to get dumped on with an Arctic uh, air mass coming yeah, down. Yeah, buckle up. Yeah. It's coming. Yeah, and so we're happy that we're down on I-10 going, <laughs> going westbound I know, on I-10. I know, because it's the area we were at, yeah. so. Anyway. All right, so we just wanted to update you guys and let you know what's going on, and we are going to wrap this one up from Mobile, Alabama. It all starts with an idea. Turn those ideas into reality, guys, and make some great memories. We're having so much fun this yes. year. So much it's fun. Been, it's been a whole lot of fun. It has, and we're, we're, we're looking forward to more, and hopefully we'll get to see you at the Quartzsite Show. We'll talk to you next week. Bye. Bye-bye.